Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, late last week in my part of the world on Friday, Microsoft rolled out the latest update for Microsoft Edge, which includes the latest security updates of the Chromium project, which the browser is based on, as you may well know. And Microsoft always seems to get the weekly security updates towards the end of the week when they do roll out. Now, after the update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 133.0.3065.82. And for last week, if you missed my previous videos last week, we got three security fixes that rolled out, addressing two high security or high severity flaws and one medium. And the two high severity flaws that are patched are both heap buffer overflow vulnerabilities. Now, in case you don't know what a heap buffer overflow vulnerability is, just a quick recap. Basically, heap is a section of memory that stores dynamic variables. So basically, it's a pool or a heap of memory segments. So what this vulnerability comprises of is there might be situations where some software elements might be too large, and then what happens is they run over the memory blocks and might, as the name implies, overflow into adjacent memory blocks, which could be a problem for accessing the information in those segments. And then what happens is attackers can take control of this heap overflow vulnerability and allow it to be turned into arbitrary code execution. So that's just a brief overview as to what a heap buffer overflow vulnerability is all about. And over and above that, um, I haven't noticed any front-facing tweaks and adjustments that the update has introduced. As far as I can see, it's only three security fixes that have rolled out for the Edge browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.